Hey, this is uh, Ryan Moore here in Joplin, Missouri at Faith Assembly of God. And I uh, just kind of want to show you a little bit about what's going on down here at Faith Assembly. Um, I'm currently standing in their sanctuary. And uh, you see there's still debris kind of all over the place. Um, this is the roof right here. And this is where the roof came off. That's the sky right there. Derek, just kind of take us through a little bit of what you sure. experienced that night when the tornado sure. started coming right through here. Ran in the, the door there and, and came around to my uh, other side of my desk, reached in my desk drawer, grabbed a flashlight, ran out, uh, went through the gym, ran through. We Our gym at the time was full of tables because we were having a fundraiser after uh, service. And uh, we had all the students and any adults that were here. We had about 15 to 20 students and about um, uh, 50 people, we approximately think, that were here at the time. And we came through. There's people just huddled down on both sides of the walls. Wow. Um, and I ran to find my family. I have a, uh, my wife and, and three kids, a nine-year-old girl, five-year-old uh, boy and a three-year-old little girl and they were right here and I just got over my kids and uh, had my back uh, to our main foyer. One thing that really stuck out to me was uh, it seemed like it was taking forever for the storm to pass. Uh, you know, so eventually when it did pass and, and when uh, we were sure that okay we're, I think we're okay here we looked around and we were just amazed by what was going on. We had no clue what the sanctuary looked at at the time. Afterwards, we came in here, we seen that the roof was gone first. We walked around the foyer and looked at the stairwell that goes up into the balcony, yeah. and all we could see was sky. We wow. just seen the skyline, and we were like, oh my goodness, what, you know, what has just happened? I'm here with uh, Pastor Larry Griffin, Senior Pastor of Faith Assembly of God in Joplin, Missouri, and we've kind of went around, we've seen the structural damage to your church, Pastor. And um, it is very encouraging, however, that even though your church building has, has suffered a lot of damage, it's so encouraging to see your church body still very hard at work in the parking lot, in the community, and, and you guys are still doing a great job trying to minister to the community. How can we just kind of come alongside you and encourage you as a church body, as a senior pastor, and help and support you? Well, I think the first thing, uh, more than anything else, is the prayer support. And we're getting a lot of people calling in and, and saying they're praying for us. We're also getting a lot of people calling in and saying that we have supplies and all those things. And we appreciate those so very much. Uh, as far as the church itself, um, we did not lose any people as far as casualties are concerned. We did have six or seven families that their homes were totally destroyed. Uh, the church building itself is is gone uh, and those type things so basically if you're talking about helping the community uh, anything supplies and stuff like that uh, the church the best thing for us would be any kind of financial support or financial help that you can send uh, those things will help do what we need to do here and, and help us continue to reach out uh, to other people uh, bottom line for us is we're going to reach out to other people regardless. We really believe that God will put this facility uh, back together. Uh, we're bringing our congregation together on the parking lot Sunday morning for our first service to let them know that the building has been destroyed, but the body of Christ has not been destroyed. Mm -hmm. And so prayer for that and just uh, holding us up before the Lord would be a great help to us. Well, Pastor, thanks so much. You're, You're welcome. A great job here.